So we've just come back from a really nice morning out and I've bought some special upgrades for the van to stop things sliding around in the back on the floor for some rubber mats. So just heading out for a ride now in the next five minutes. I've got myself some electrolytes to throw in my bottle. I'm going out for probably like an hour. Oh, look at this. Yeah, probably going to go out for an hour, hour and a half, uh, two hours maybe. Charlie's been on the slow cooker. We've got some nice food there for probably tomorrow after we get back from the hill climb. We've had a pretty chilled morning to be fair, out for coffee and breakfast and back in time to sort some stuff out for tomorrow. And to be honest, I could have traveled a lot further this week. Um, there's a couple of hill climbs on this weekend, um, like Jackson Bridge, uh, Snake Pass, which is quite a long gradual climb of like five or 6%. And I opted for the Welsh Hill Climb Championships um, because it's so close to home. Uh, it'll be like just over an hour's drive and the tumble is a very long climb but it's probably harder than Snake Pass in the sense that it's open to the elements and it's a lot steeper. So it'll probably give me a better chance to, you know, race properly without adding on, you know, any excess travel. Um, so it allows me to, you know, just get in the zone a bit better. And when you take that travel side out of it, it certainly helps with the preparation and um, yeah, not not overly stressing. If, if there's a good enough hill climb locally that saves me traveling, you know, three, four hours away. So I've been spending some time this evening planning for tomorrow's race and I'll let you in on it. First of all, I'll take you through step by step what I usually look for. First of all, quick visit to windy.com to see the wind direction and it looks like the weather is going to be a light to moderate headwind if you don't know the tumble climb is probably one of the most famous climbs in wales certainly in south wales uh, and it's not actually that far from the english border um, it's about 20 25 miles north of cardiff give or take as far as pre-race days go Today's been a little bit different. Um, we've been out, we've done normal human being things, and I've ridden my bike for a total of 90 minutes, just spinning my legs, and washed the bike, prepared the bike, and yeah, generally it's been quite relaxed. So with about 15 hours until the hill climb tomorrow morning, uh, I will look over pre-race plans, and weather, obviously, because these hill climbs are massively weather dependent and I will try and form a plan so tomorrow tumble it kind of starts off at its steepest and then gradually levels off towards the top and it it does level off a fair bit like the last I would say the last kilometer to last two kilometers of the five kilometers in total give or take probably average around five four five percent but it's at the bottom where it's at its steepest. It approximately averages like 10 to 11% for the first two or three kilometers. And if you've ever ridden the tumble before, you'll know that that section is certainly the hardest. The rough plan tomorrow is to go off as hard as I possibly can. Um, maybe even 430, 440 watts for the first couple of minutes. And then gradually, naturally tail off so gradually lose power as we get into the last maybe three or four minutes of the climb. When I say lose power, I don't mean you know completely bail out. I mean go from 440, 430 at the beginning for the first six or seven minutes hopefully, and then the last couple of minutes going down to say 390, 400, 410 if I can manage it. It's kind of like a little bit of a test tomorrow and a good time as well to do it. That through. <laughs> I'm trying to like chop. Some bread. 
Yeah, it's probably going to need to toast it. Why? Because it'll be nice to toast it. No, just we'll soak it up as well. Okay, it's meant to be served with crusty bread. So, what's in this uh, slow cooker recipe? Um, potatoes. Potato, um, new potatoes, tin tomatoes, uh, you can use chicken thighs or chicken breast, pesto, balsamic vinegar, um, garlic, white onions. Uh, There's a lot of things on. Yeah, and Italian seasoning. So technically this is the start of the tumble, but we don't actually start here. We start further up on like the first corner. Um, but if you were to do the official climb, it starts way back uh, under that bridge where the gradient actually kicks up and comes around here. It's only like a couple of hundred meters, but makes all the difference, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so this climb actually, uh, me and it go way back to maybe like 12, 13 years ago when I was a junior and I was racing. I did a junior tour of Wales. I can't even remember what time I did. I have no idea. I, w I wasn't even on Strava then, I don't think. So anyway, we go way back and it's got a lot of history with a lot of, lot of Welsh cyclists, racing cyclists and, you know, club cyclists too. It's not a bad start list as well for this race. There's, I think there's like 50 or 60 riders. Um, and some really good riders are that as well. Um, but I do think that this event is underrepresented. Um, and what I mean by that is like, I don't think there's enough like riders who potentially already race or riders who can maybe get themselves noticed, like younger riders as well, that sign up and do this event because it is a Welsh Hill Climb Championships. I know like some people would say that, you know, it's, it's technically a region, you know, it's not a national championship. But if I win this today, I'll be, I'll be three time Welsh hill climb champion. And, you know, that's nothing to be snuffed at. Plus, you know, I think like if Welsh cycling were here and I think if, if a lot of junior riders or youth riders even were to come and do this event, you know, and did a good time, then they would potentially get um, noticed uh, by, you know, development teams or anything like that. I think. You know, time trial, and there's a lot of weight to put on time trialing and how important that is. Um, but an out and out effort up a climb, especially something like the tumble at a Welsh Championship event, you know, I think, I think there's a lot of value in that. How does it look? Looks good. It's flush. Good, that. Eh? Mm. Save a watt there. You don't know this climb very well, do you? Um, I've only ever driven it. To guess my time. Mm. I'm thinking it's very calm, isn't it? Mm. I'm thinking Not much wind. So somewhere around the 12 minute mark. Mm. Not sure around Cisco? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't the writing on the front? No, I don't think it was. Oh. I don't know. If anyone knows. <laughs> So you're going for your warmer, and yep. then when you get back, I'm gonna walk up to the hairpin. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love the bum shake, just to emphasise. You gotta wiggle into them, innit? <laughs> Sharon was saying that it looks a bit big, but actually it fits me like. Like a glove. Yeah. Can you stand up straight in it? No. Yeah, well. It's Not supposed to, be. No, I know, I was going to say. It's compressing, which is what it's supposed to do. Alright. Yeah. Ah. Well, this is the last open hill climb I'm doing. Yeah. Because next week I'm doing a, a local club hill climb, which means I won't have to travel. 
I keep talking about this, but you know, travel is quite a big thing, and uh, yeah, it's um, it, you'd be surprised how much fatigue it adds, and also how much it has to add to your recovery time, and like you can't train as well around it. So I've opted for a really short, uh, like five-minute club hill climb next weekend, um, and then. The week before the nationals, I've got a weekend off, and then uh, and then we've got the nationals. So this is three weeks, three weeks out today. Um, so it's still a chance to throw caution to the wind and try, you know, like last week um, when I won at Winlatter, like same attitude, like you know, nothing to lose. Um, and it, it'll be the same with the Nationals, I think. My attitude is, is a lot different this year, like, you know, I've got nothing to lose, per se, in the sense that I just need to go as hard as I can. And on this climb, it's perfect, almost, because it definitely rewards someone who's going to start hard and then slowly fade off towards the end. And I've already spoken about that, that the fade will be, like, it won't be significant like it'll be 30 watts well that sounds significant but like on the grand scheme of things you know I've, I've badly paced this climb in the past where I've started um, like I not started too easy but I've I've finished way too hard like I have finished like 440 watts for the last three minutes in the past and this climb is far too shallow to to have that sort of power left as reserve so you know today it's it's like less about well it's all about the performance um, and seeing what I can get out of myself again in a race scenario with less pressure on me um, and then taking what we learned today and, and applying it into training sessions over the next week or two um, you know that that's really the important takeaway from today into Jersey to warm up I don't think I'll bother with my tights it's quite mm. mild it's like 15 degrees it is warm I don't think I'm gonna need this it's like nearly middle of October yeah and today's I, supposed to be 20 degrees I don't think I'm gonna need my down jacket to walk her no you're gonna be sweating like. yeah I know right just want a jersey and that's it I'm gonna take that and I'll get you a jersey okay Yeah, good luck. Else's. Are we gonna ride up here or are we gonna ride? Nah, we'll go back. Go back home. You film it? So, provisionally, Charlie's uh, occupying the time, drawing. Is that what you're doing? Drawing or colouring? Painting? Drawing. Finish Can't even see you. Oh, there you are. How are you doing? Finishing <laughs> something I started. But, wow, sensations. I mean, I committed to, um, committed to doing, like, basically a really hard first five minutes, which I think paid off. Hence why I think, although I average roughly the same power that I did, like, back in 2019, 2018, so about 415, 420 watts for 12 minutes, which is almost seven, that is, yeah, be touch and go seven watts per kilo. Sometimes you've got to learn how to, what, like, what's good and what's bad. It differs on every climb that you do. 
you know, sometimes it's a good thing to sort of blow up a little bit and, you know, go slower towards the end. It's not always about, you know, starting easy and finishing strong. But let's upload to Strava, that'll be the actual... <laughs> That's the important bit. Hey, you didn't think I was going to leave you hanging with no footage from my actual race, right? I mean, let's be real. I'm not going to be running this camera in the National Hill Climb Championships. I'm going to be hoping that there's enough footage from people on the climb, hint, hint, um, so that I won't have to take my little camera up with me on the bike and I can save a little bit of extra weight. That is a call to action to the community there, by the way. Um, <laughs> so this is the tumble. I'm not going to show you the whole climb for the sake of the length of this video, but I'm going to show you some of the best bits. Um, so starting off, uh, this climb averages about... Or, sorry, the length of the climb is 4.1 kilometers uh, with an average gradient of approximately 9 to 10%. Now, the most severe gradient comes in the first 2.6k um, at about 10 to 11%, and then it gradually sort of falls away and finishes uh, quite quickly, really, towards the top. Here's the one and only hairpin on the course. Charlie stood there on the left. Massive shout out to Charlie, by the way, for putting up with me the patience she has uh, to put up with me on days like this but also you know in in the in the week as well like you don't see that um i'm not the easiest to live with of course especially when i'm three weeks away from a national Hill climb championships <laughs> but anyway um also a lot of people out near the top of the climb cheering on uh hopefully i've included a little bit of that footage as well near the top um it's always difficult when a climb is this long to sort of you know uh get that atmosphere when you know there is so much tarmac for people to stand on um it's really difficult to know where to stand and cheer people on really but i always appreciate it when people come out and and watch and cheer on everybody that comes up the hill no matter what speed so I was pleasantly surprised, actually, by the fact that this, uh, all of this bit now, up until the cattle grid, has been fully tarmac If you haven't been here for a few years, this may look unfamiliar to you, because there used to be a lot of trees here. I know there's a lot of trees here now, but there used to be way more, and it used to be quite sheltered, and now it's uh, looking a little bit bare. Um, so this does mean that you know a headwind is a little bit more prominent, because you don't have the shelter of the trees as much, but... Um, I wouldn't say I, I felt it that much on this section. It was more near the top. So looking at my pacing strategy, and I want to touch on that um, quite a lot, actually, because it, I, I feel like it, it really paid off today. And I'm going to highlight, if you look at the, the first maybe 60 to 70% of this, of this climb, we've got an average gradient of, of 11% for 2.6k. And this is where the majority of my power is produced 427 watts for eight and a half minutes um or eight minutes 45 give or take a couple of seconds now what's pretty incredible about this ride and how well it was paced is uh, and you know i'm i'm known for this as well but i'm also very practiced in this and i also have a lot of um i mean i've got years of cycling behind me to back this up so you know, this is a type of effort that is really suited to me. There's such a small drop off between my peak five minute, which is 431 watts. And then that eight and a half minute effort is only like four or five watts less. So for almost double the time, I only lose five watts. So almost, if you want to put it this way, like a percent or, you know, 0.1 uh, of a watts per kilo, like it, it, it's such a small drop, and this is um, you know, th this has allowed me to to pace this climb, and and to go up here as fast as I have done today. Now the last section of the climb, I highlight that. If you look at it, now I, although I do finish fairly strong, I'm able to pick it up and finish at 420 watts for the last minute. The actual last three and a half minutes, or the last mile, the last 1.5k. I'm only averaging about 400 watts, but my speed, as you can see, is much higher, like much higher to that first section. First section, I'm averaging about 18, 19 kilometers an hour, and this last section, I'm averaging, you know, 26 kilometers an hour. So there's a massive difference, and that's where, you know, really sort of paying attention to, you know, your power and, uh, you know, 
also a little bit of aerodynamics as well to a, to a certain degree. But with a headwind today, you know, we certainly felt the uh, the the struggle, if we will, uh, if a lack of a better word. Um, so I want to give a really quick shout as well to a chap that I passed, and I, I, I'm really sorry, but I'm blanking on his name, who I caught just after the cattle grid. And I came past him, and I couldn't really believe what I was seeing. And he was on a he was on a hand bike, and he was getting up the tumble on a hand bike. I thought it was the most amazing thing. And you know, I I didn't know about this rider who had entered the event and was taking part on a hand bike. Um, but my hat goes off to you because that is an incredible achievement to get up a climb like this. Uh. Regardless, like there's people who who I think genuinely uh, have this climb as a nemesis and struggle to get up here, you know, with their legs, uh, and for you to get up here with your arms, sir, uh, I mean, fair play. That was uh, that was some ride. Uh, that was some ride. Um, and then we come to the top, and we come across the line to take the win, the Welsh Championship, with 12 minutes and 12 seconds, and. I was really, really chuffed to add that to the third time I've won this event and certainly the best I've ever felt winning this event. So that's going to round up this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Lots more videos to come and I hope you look forward to those too. So until then, I will see you next time.